All righty. We shall move on to the Mass Mutual East Division. Uh, Max, give me your forwards. I have got Sid the Kid Crosby, Brad Marchand, and Arteri Panarin. I'll just say quickly, this is the one time I broke my availability is the best ability rule as the games that Panarin had to miss were absolutely not his fault whatsoever. Um, I I know you said let's not get political at the start of this show, but it is an absolute travesty and complete bullshit that he had to sit out for the games that he did. And I'm just thankful it was as short of a period as it was and... The fact is he's still higher in points on the season than some of the other guys I was considering, like uh, Jake Gensel and Alex Ovechkin. So I, when I factor in why Panarin missed those games, it was no question that I had to slot him in. And Crosby and Marchand, I think, are pretty exp- yeah. self-explanatory. Yeah, I also have, again, two of those top three. Uh, Crosby, Marchand, and I am going with Alex Ovechkin. And this isn't maybe the most popular pick, but it is a legacy pick based on what he has done. And even if the point production is not the same as maybe some of these other top guys, uh, Panarin, even a Pasternak who's missed a couple of games and and a Jakub Voracek, Alex Ovechkin, like it's every time he he steps on the ice, he is the team's number one guy on the scouting report. He is who you have to pay attention to at all times. And when he's getting that so much attention and continuing to be a rock solid producer and allowing other guys on this team to succeed. Like some of the value can't be quantified in, in basic stats and especially some of the milestones that he's passed this season. Just it's, it's a big season for him. Uh, he's not going to make it to my all NHL team, but I think he deserved to be honored here. Uh, and so he is on my all East team as a forward. Yeah. I, I did deduct some points. I think he has a negative plus minus rating this season, but it's, He's going to break Gretzky's record. I know it. All right. All defense. Right. Defense. I. Every division had its struggles. Uh, Chris Letang was an easy lock for me on defenseman, being a part of the number one team, having playing big minutes every night, um, a solid plus minus rating. And like I said, the plenty of points, number one team. I did struggle on this second defenseman and I'm, ultimately went with Fox for the fantastic rookie season and leading defenseman and points in the NHL and everything else was around. Not bad. It was between Fox and Carlson for me. And I went with Fox. I have the same two defensemen again, comes down very close. John Carlson. Uh, also Charlie McAvoy was in there for me. Uh, but it came down to, again, who is going to be connected with this season when it's all said and done. And Adam Fox has had a truly remarkable season. Um, And so I think he definitely deserves to be there and uh, yeah, deserves the honor. So shout out to Fox, a a really great season um, and kind of out of nowhere. Ryan Pulock was also among my considerations because the New York Islanders are a team that's had excellent defensive averages this season, which brings us to goaltenders and maybe you can help me out with this one because for three of the divisions the goalie was the easiest pick I got to make I'm really struggling on this one between Varlamov and Yari Varlamov having the better save percentage and goals against average but Yari have more wins and I think a better winning percentage and I'm I'm really on the fence but I, I'm feeling Yari Reward interesting so you're going, Tristan, for the wins. Uh, I'd actually go and save Varlamov based on the fact that the type of style of hockey that the Islanders play, um, they like to keep games a little bit tighter, um, and it's not the explosive scoring back and forth. You really, really need top-tier goaltending. Obviously, they've had it. Like, whoever the goalie coach is in, in New York, like he should be making – like way more than he's currently making because they seem to just produce guys, revive careers, turn them into studs. And uh, just another name to add to that list is Semyon Barlamov. That is who I'm going to finish up with because of the excellent numbers he has put up this season. 